I'm Emika. I'm here today to talk to you about my sound. I am a music producer, artist, singer, composer, sound designer. I have a degree in creative music technology and I've been making all of my records for the last 10 years. My signature sound as a producer takes elements from three different places. The first one being obviously classical music, symphonies, cadences, laws of harmony. The second world being techno and bass music. I love the huge amount of power that you can harness and I'm able to find a feeling that I don't naturally have when I just walk around in life myself. I'm very essentially insecure. I'm quite an insecure soul. But when I work with bass, I feel like I can transform and be this like completely new woman. The third part of my music is this singer-songwriter, German-European perspective. Personally, for me, I've been on this process of trying, yes, to streamline what I do, but in the sense that I want to have the perfect thing for each of the things I want to do. So I don't want to have 100 plugins. I want to know that I have the right EQ for me. I am totally a perfectionist, and I do think that you can achieve your perfectionist goals if you want to. You might have to go mad at some point in the process. I was mainly in Berlin because it felt like home. It was a mix of East and West and a mix of my mum and my dad. I chose to leave and move to the Black Forest to be able to offer something different and something fresh. And I can see how burned out many creative people get just from living in cities. Often creative people don't realise the impact that big cities can have on them. When creatives come out of burnouts, they can create amazing stuff. I like the idea of our studio being this place that people can come to just get away from everything, figure out what they're really passionate about, and then focus on something that they really want to create that city life might have been blocking them from creating. I love to just take some mics, headphones, basic Zoom recorder with me, because the interesting thing about the forest is the atmosphere. It's very hard to record, but the atmosphere changes a lot. I like to go into the forest and sort of bow down to the beauty of nature and then come to my studio and try to figure out how to make 1% of the beauty that I've just experienced on my walk. My sample library, Emika Producers Sounds, is all of my choice cuts of favourite parts of records I've made over the last 10 years. And it's really curated and put together for producers that want to add some kind of edgy, unique flavour to whatever they're working on. There's something in there essentially for everyone. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what new kinds of music people are going to make with my sounds.